मैसेव श्वेता गंभीर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम श्री शांत शंकर महाराज कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर रेमपुरा टूडे वी डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ इरिगेशन एफिशिएंसी सो व्हाट इज मीन बाय इरिगेशन एफिशिएंसी वी कैन सिंपली डिफाइंड एज इट इज एक्सप्रेस्ड इन द फर्स्ट लिस्ट इज एक्सप्रेस इन परसेंटेज एंड इट इज द रेशियो ऑफ द वाटर स्टोर्ड इन द सोइल फॉर क्रॉप ग्रोथ एंड प्रोडक्शन टू द टोटल वाटर अप्लाइड मींस व्हाट वी हैव अप्लाइड द टोटल वाटर एंड फ्रॉम द टोटल वाटर द अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर इज यूज्ड बाय द प्लांट फॉर इट्स क्रॉप ग्रोथ एंड प्रोडक्शन दैट मींस वी हैव कॉल्ड एज द इरिगेशन Efficiency. So mathematically, we can be written as irrigation efficiency irrigation efficiency is equal to what water stored for crop growth and production production. to the total water applied water applied so the it is the ratio of crop water stored in the soil for crop growth and production to the total water applied and it is expressed in percentage therefore it is multiplied by 100 so this is irrigation efficiency and the irrigation by irrigation efficiency we can you uh, supply or we can efficiently uh, determine how the can efficiently water is uh, supply available water is supplied to the plant when you irrigate the field the water when we apply to the field then there is a various losses occurring during the application of water so the losses of irrigation losses of irrigation first is it is first distribution losses water losses by distribution distribution losses means when we distributed the water in the soil from the source we apply the field from water by particular source so during distribution by various methods that water can be losses so to called as a distribution losses second one is percolation losses percolation losses so percolation losses when the water up after application then there is a water stored in the root zone and the water is percolated beyond this root zone that water is called as the percolation losses and mostly water about only 10 to 20% of water is actually utilized by the plant for its plant growth and uh, other losses by various losses water can be lost so third one is conveyance losses conveyance means what conveyance losses so conveyance means what when the transfer of water from one place to another from main source to apply directly field so that means the conveyance losses so water can be lost due to conveyance then fourth one is runoff and evaporation losses runoff and evaporation losses so after application irrigation or after application of water to the field then most of the water when there is a undiluting land the water is lost with runoff also and the water is lost in the form of vapor form that means the water is losses through evaporation losses so after application the water can be lost by distribution losses percolation losses conveyance losses and runoff and evaporation losses next we discuss about measurement of irrigation efficiency measurement so various means we have to measure the irrigation efficiency means irrigation application efficiency water application efficiency water distribution efficiency by various means we have to measure efficiency so measurement of efficiency means the determine it is determined by or measured by the water stored in the soil to the total water is applied we have to it is can be major water stored in the soil to the total water applied and by the uh, according to texture of soil there is a irrigation efficiency can given as a in sandy soil sandy soil texture and irrigation efficiency in percentage so in sandy soil irrigation efficiency become 60% in sandy loam 
Sandy Loam. Irrigation efficiency 65%. Then Loam. Irrigation efficiency 70%. Clay Loam. Irrigation efficiency 75%. And Heavy Loam. Irrigation efficiency 80% that is the irrigation efficiency we have to measure the water stored to the uh, in the soil to the total water applied in the root zone. So that is the irrigation efficiency. So determine water applied to the total water water applied to the total water to the water stored in the root zone that we have stored in root zone root zone that we have to determine by measurement of irrigation efficiency so first we have to measure irrigation efficiency is water conveyance efficiency water water conveyance efficiency so what is it water conveyance efficiency means conveyance means that transfer of water from one place to another place means when do water is convenience from the it measures the efficiency by water is convenience from canal to the water resources and to the water field from water conveyance from conveyance from canal means main source of water canal to the water resources or water resources or to the irrigated plot irrigated plot so water is conveyance from canal to the water resource to the directly to the irrigated plot that we have called as a water conveyance efficiency and mathematically we can be it is write as EC means what water conveyance efficiency WF divided by WD multiplied by 100 so what is it W hey, sorry EC means what water conveyance efficiency water conveyance efficiency second one WF means what water delivered to the field water delivered to field or irrigated plot and WD means water diverted from source diverted from source means when we have to water is diverted from particular source to actual water is delivered to the irrigated plot or field that is the ratio means the water conveyance efficiency and it is expressed in the percentage also next is second water application efficiency water application efficiency So water application efficiency it measures the water application efficiency means we have mathematically written as it is application efficiency it is WS divided by WF means what so water application efficiency so water application efficiency that is EA means water application efficiency application efficiency it is expressed in percentage then w is ws means what the water stored in the root zone water stored in root zone and wf means what the water is diverted from or diverted in the field 
So, in water application efficiency, it is measure of the irrigation efficiency. WA is equal to WS divided by WF means what? When the water is applied, after that, the water is applied from the particular source, it becomes, suppose it is the well. So, that from source, the water is applied to directly to the irrigated field. So, after application, the water stored by the plant in the root zone and that root zone, that means the water is W, yes. And after that, the water is delivered in the field from that source to this one water is delivered in the field means the W, F. That is the water application efficiency and every irrigation, at each irrigation water, the water application efficiency becomes decreases when the, at each irrigation. Obviously, because at every irrigation, the amount of water can be applied in the field and that amount of water is stored in the root zone of the plant. So, it adds the water that is stored in the root zone of the plant. Therefore, application efficiency can be automatically decreases there during the each irrigation. That is water application efficiency. Then, third one, measure of irrigation efficiency is water storage efficiency water storage efficiency so what water storage efficiency can be mathematically written as w sorry es means storage efficiency is equal to ws divided by wn multiplied by 100 so where w ES means what? Water storage efficiency. Water storage efficiency. And WS means water stored in root zone. Water stored in root zone during the irrigation. During irrigation water stored in root zone during irrigation and WN means water required in root zone or needed to the water needed to the root zone needed to root zone period to irrigation period to means before irrigation, amount of water is needed to root zone, that is WN, and water stored in the root zone during the irrigation or after the irrigation, that is the ratio means the water storage efficiency. So, WES is equal to WS divided by WN multiplied by 100. So, means when the irrigation is applied, the water stored in root zone and divided by the water is required before the irrigation multiplied by 100 that is storage efficiency. Then fourth one is water distribution efficiency. It is the measure of irrigation efficiency. Water distribution efficiency. Water distribution efficiency. So water distribution efficiency means the extent or the amount to which the amount of water can be distributed along the run, running water or along the run that is a distribution efficiency we can write it is as a ed is equal to 1 minus y divided by capital b multiplied by 100 so it is ed means what water distribution efficiency water distribution efficiency And B means the depth of water. It is the depth of water, water stored, depth of water stored along the depth of water stored during distribution, during distribution along the run. And Y means numerical derivation of numerical derivation of of D. 
So water distribution efficiency means the depth of stored water during dissemination means the amount or extent to which the water is actually distributed during the along the run and it can be numerically written as ed is equal to 1 minus y divided by d multiplied by 100 it is also expressed in the percentage then last one is water use efficiency water use efficiency so in water use efficiency water use efficiency so water use efficiency can be able to uh, describe in two ways first one is crop water use efficiency crop water use efficiency and second one is field water use efficiency field water use efficiency so what is crop water use efficiency in water use efficiency first is crop water use efficiency so crop water use efficiency means it is the ratio of yield it is the ratio of yield means y to the water which is utilized or depleted by the plant for its evapotranspiration and the amount of water is used by the plant for its metabolic process that means the this ratio is called as the water use efficiency and it is mathematically we can be uh, written as first is crop water use efficiency it is the ratio of yield so we can be say as a y ratio of yield to the total amount of water is used or depleted, depleted by the plant for its evapotranspiration during its growth is utilized by the plant for its evapotranspiration the amount of water is used by the plant for its metabolic processes that means the g so this is where cow determined as a crop water use efficiency where y is equal to y means that is yield and it is evapotranspiration water utilized by the evapotranspiration and G means the water is utilized by the plant for metabolic process. That is we are called as a conceptive use of water. In previous video we have seen about metabolic, conceptive use of water, metabolic process or metabolic activity. That is crop water use efficiency. So second one is field water use efficiency. In crop water use efficiency that is field water use efficiency, field water use efficiency so in field water use efficiency it is also a ratio of crop yield means y this ratio of crop yield you know, y and the amount of water which is utilized by the plant for the crop evapotranspiration that is et and the amount of water is lost by the deep percolation losses that is dp and the amount of water is used by the plant for its metabolic activity that means the g that ratio we have called as the field water use efficiency in mathematically we can return as field water use efficiency that is is equal to y means yield ratio of amount of water is utilized by the plant for its evapotranspiration plus water is lost during deep percolation means dp and amount of water used by the plant for its metabolic process means G and that means we have to earlier video about discuss about water requirement so this total ET plus DP plus G means WR means what water requirement so field water is efficiency we can be written in this way Y means crop yield divided by WR means yield divided by water requirement that we have been written as field water use efficiency then about measures and the factors for the water uh, irrigation efficiency we will discuss in next video thank you